1910 when they opened the museum and they began um, serving people in the settlement house with the proceeds from the, the ticket sale. And so that's all we're on today's show. We've been waiting for you for a couple of hours. You know, everyone wanting to know how to make that. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> Discount. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take off five dollars for your, your suggestion. <laughs> just kidding, honey. I'm just kidding. I, know, but, um, I noticed that you. Point, you know, I noticed that you you have a sense of humor. So. Someone comes along with um, children, and I often give my first ride for free or really, really, you know, low if there's kids. Like a single dad oh. with kids or something. You have to be seen going around with happy people. Right, so. right. That's awesome. <laughs> but I didn't get any kids today. I got you. Oh my gosh. We got you some attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work many days a week with uh, several different places. But that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's very cool. And we're taking a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. I just realized. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. I know, so we can watch it later. Or, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, on the top are uh, um, main feature of that kind of house. And oh we have goodness. this little temple kind of thing around the front door. It's called a portico. And those are all inspired by Greek architecture. They actually were beginning to um, unearth the ruins in Pompeii and they saw that style of house and it inspired a whole new kind of fad. The idea is about democracy were um, uh, taken from Greek literature, I think about the Constitution, and the architecture kind of got into the act too. Hey. Oh my Whoa. god, I never saw a baby wearing headphones. Did you see this little baby? <laughs> you did. I don't know what was up with that. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> Whatever keeps them quiet. <laughs> goes right back to the beginning of the settlement. That was a tradition that the pilgrims brought from southeast England, um, having a town green that everybody shared um, for grazing of the flock. And uh, later on it was used also for maneuvers um, four times a year. Every able-bodied young man was required to show up and his gun and practice um, for the militia. That's the um, beginnings of the National Guard system. When you go um, to the visitor center, were you in that area? Uh, no, I think we were about to, um, I think we were about to find it, I think, okay. but we never did. But, um, a lot of stuff closes at five, which sort of leaves you in the work, but um, I'll go by the visitor center because they have an exhibit on the outside wall about um, 
the National Guard and it took off the wars and how it started being started here in Right. <laughs> they didn't like the word army. Army belonged to kings, and they didn't want to have a king. They wanted to be a little bit of a different way of government. Dorks. Well, these guys <laughs> Traffic is stopping for us. I love that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs>